And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a game called 2491 Planet Ship. Uh, this is actually a sequel, or even a reworking, of another game that Mebo did called Esteril 1941, which was a game about spies before World War II. This one's about uh, aliens, and this is a very abstract style game where you're placing aliens out in a grid and they're all going to do special things and attack each other in various ways. It's a little harder to explain in a short manner, so let me try the long way. The game is made up of 10 different zones. You're going to set it up differently. This is a four-player setup. A three-player setup would have fewer boards showing. And essentially, each round of the game, there's four rounds. You'll move after the round's over. Two of them get moved to the end and put face down. And then you flip up the next two. And it's slightly different in a four and five in a five-player game. But that's sort of what it works. Players are trying to control zones because there's going to be reward cards placed face up or face down in the different zones. Each player has a set of starting characters and each of these characters has special abilities that are mentioned by the icons here. Characters are also worth points at the end of the game. All your starting characters are worth one point. Now what players are going to be doing is taking turns placing a character on the board. You'll either place them face up in some spaces or if it shows this hidden icon here, you'll place them face down. However, you can only place them in a space dock, these yellow spots, if it's pointing to it. So I could place one here, I could place one here, or next to one of your characters on the board. Remembering, of course, to put an icon of your type so people remember who is what. Sometimes when you place a character on a spot, like let's say I put a character in this spot here, you get a probe and you can look at someone else's card to see what it is. Ooh. After everyone has placed out all their spaceship tokens, essentially put out four different people, then you're going to resolve each zone. Each zone has a number on it. Now, zones have special abilities. There's various things that can happen with them. I'm not going to go over all the different special abilities. Some zones can be rotated. Some can't have probes put in them. You know, there's different things. But what you'll do is you'll take a zone. So let's say the zone looks like this, for example. I'm going to resolve all the special abilities in that zone, starting with space one, space two, space three. And then after those abilities have been resolved, Whoever has the highest strength, that's a number here in black, is going to win the reward card. Now you'll want to get these reward cards because you'll see they're pretty high strengths, they're more victory points, and they have cool special abilities. Those are all reasons that you want to take these. You're only ever allowed to have six, so at the end of each round, you're going to choose somebody to take out of your group and replace them. Anyone you take out of your group is still worth one point. Anyone you discard is worth one point at the end of the game, but you're building a better team as time goes by. Now the special abilities can be all sorts of things, like this skull here is a hacker. You can pick someone who's not shielded and basically remove them from the zone. There's scanners that let you add to the reward space. There's tractor beams that let you pull people from an additional space. There's shields where you can put shield tokens on top of people that will block them from the hackers. There's uh, team radios, teleport. There's all kinds of different things, plus the different zones. So you go through each zone, then you'll rotate the zones. Everyone discards down to six characters. You refill the zones with new rewards and you start over again. After four rounds of that, you're going to add up the points, one point for each person you discard it, the full points of the people you still have, and then the extra points over here. You'll draw some tiles at the beginning of the game that are going to give you points for different types of characters you have. Like so, for example, this orc here would be worth, whoever has the most of these is going to get six points. And so there's different things that they'll give you points for based on how many you have. So you'll, you'll see it at the beginning and collect for that purpose. 
So all these different aliens. I like how some of the aliens are actually buildings. That's a that's a kind of an alien here. There's all kinds of weird aliens. They have different colors based on their different races. There's a lot of humans involved in the game, um, but there's other kinds of weird aliens. The symbols are a little complicated, but you get used to them after a while, and they're all listed on the back of the book. There's only really six different special abilities. We found it more problematic to remember what all the different zones did. That was trickier, uh, just remembering, because you're like, oh, that's right, in this zone, you can't play that kind of character. All right, folks, there you have it. I liked Astro 1941. I thought it was a very good game. Um, and I like 2491 Planet Ship. I think it's a good game. I'm not a fan of this theme. I thought the spy theme was more interesting. Even though it's generic, this theme is generic space on a generic thing. And you're just putting people out and they do various things. It's, it's very abstract, like I said, in nature. But here's what I like about the game. I like putting the tiles out, and each tile you sit there, and there's this very take that nature of the game, where I put a tile out, and I can hit you, but then you put a tile out that puts a protect token on that, and then you put a tile on something else that takes me out first. Meanwhile, we're all trying to have area control to get these reward tiles, because you want to get them for many reasons. So that's all cool. Here's where I think it's going to jam up for some people. There's a lot of things to check. You have to say, okay, we're going to do all the zones in numeric order. Start with zero. One, two, three. Start with one. One, two, three. Go over here. One, two, three, four. And hold oh, this one does this. This one does this. Reveal these. There's a lot of stuff going on and it can feel for some people like work. It didn't really bother me that much, but I had enough people complain in the games. I thought I should point that out. That I think some people thought there was too much. For me, I still enjoyed it. My caveat, the thing that kind of bugs me a bit, is when you get to the end, I felt like the points didn't feel like I had, I felt like I had earned more than that over the course of the game. You're like, that's it? Those are all the points I get? The ending of the game was slightly deflating. My concern with this game is it's going to disappear into the ether. No one has talked about it as far as I can see much at all. I really like the first one and I kind of wish they had stuck with the first. I like space a lot, but pre-World War II spies? That's kind of cool. And that's, I thought that was a more interesting theme. This one is generic. It may appeal to more people. Who knows? It's still kind of a... I, I really like the game. It's clever. When I first got it, I was really enamored with it. I, was, I, I looked into... you know, At the time, I don't think it was in America. I wanted to see it get brought over. And so this is another way to play the same game. You sit there with these tiles, and you think, I can put this tile there. But if I put that there, you'll put that tile there. It's almost chess-like in its moves. It's a little clunkier than that. You'll be passing around the rule summary sheet quite a bit over the course of the game. But if you're like me, you will like it. So this is a solid game. I would, if anyone wanted to play it, I would kind of say, hey, watch my overview real quick. Does this seem like a game you'll enjoy? Because I do. I think there's a lot of back and forth. But the groups I played it in were fairly divided on that point, and I thought it would only be fair to mention that. So that's 2491 Planet Chip, a clever game of placing tiles, going for end game scoring, and a constantly moving spaceship. Well, actually, I don't know what the theme of that part is, but I enjoyed it a lot. So there you go. I'm Tom Vassell. You've been watching the Dice Tower. See you next time. Dice Tower Judgment approved. <laughs>